So that's a real flashing light, not like these little Arduino blinking LEDs. This is a 120 volt light turning on and off. Look at that. It must be right at the limit of the power output, jumping between 50 and 100 watts. Yeah, good afternoon, YouTube. This is my little flashing light. It's on right now, but it should turn off probably pretty soon. What this light is doing is just a little experiment I set up the other day. So this is a little uh, incandescent night light, and this is a, a Z-Wave controlled home automation switch. So this is just a relay module that just turns on and off, and it's plugged into a outlet strip there. So nothing unusual, except I have a Vera light home automation controller that's controlling this light. And I can show you the little program that I have set up to run it. Yeah, so this is the Vera uh, control panel web page that runs on the little home automation controller. It just plugs into the Ethernet and it transmits wirelessly to any Z-Wave compatible devices you have in your home and that you've paired with it. And one of the applications you can add on is this really nice little program called the Program Logic Event Generator. You can take inputs from various devices and generate events, that's the name, event generator, based upon things happening. So I have this one event that I call Watts Low. What that event is, it says whenever this home energy monitor, this is monitoring the power coming into my house, and whenever the energy usage goes below 50 watts, then I generate that event, or they call it a trigger called Watts Low, and then the condition that says if the Watts Low event or trigger happens and it's during the day, that's my condition, then the action is down here, and that says turn on this device called MBR Nightlight. You set the target to one, turns it on, and then I have the equivalent triggers, conditions, and actions to turn the light off. And I'll show you that here. That's this watts high. It says set the trigger when the energy usage goes above 100. So that little light comes on anytime my power is below 50 and goes off anytime it's above 100. So that's my little experiment here. And doesn't seem like much, but this is like pretty amazing when you think about that it. That means I can control things in the house, turn things on and off based upon how much power is being uh, used at any one time. If anybody's got time of day electric billing, and you can see it automatically went off. I didn't do anything, but the power consumption in my house evidently rose above 100 watts, and that light turned off. So you could imagine if you have time of day utility billing, that could uh, be a money-saving thing, or if you're using solar power and you have solar power available, you could turn things on, and if a cloud comes over and your power drops, you could turn things off. So all sorts of neat things could be done based on this, and it's literally three lines of code to turn that light on, one to set up the trigger, one for the condition, and one for the action, and then it's three lines of code to turn it off. So, you know, there's a lot of code behind that uh, program logic event generator. It was developed by one of the contributors on the getvira.com forum, and you can see it just turned on again my power apparently dropped. Turned off again. It took me quite a while to
to get this working, I was trying to make it much more complicated than it really is. It's, it was actually very simple. Once you get over the fact that it's not complicated, I just finally thought, why don't I plug in a little light and uh, make it turn on and off. And all you need to do then is change your parameters for your high and low power maybe add a little bit of logic there to do whatever you want to do and then plug whatever devices you want into uh, you know, these little Z-Wave switches and once you have everything paired up you can control all sorts of things in your house and control your energy consumption. If anyone has any uh, comments or suggestions or questions put that in the comment section below the video description I'll try to post some follow-up videos with some of my plans for this and uh, you can check out my solar power playlist I'll put, the, put a card up in the upper right corner of the video and there's a subscribe link in the lower right corner you can subscribe to my channel for updates so that's that is pretty neat so hope you enjoyed that if you found that interesting give the video a thumbs up and we'll catch you next time. As always, thanks for watching.